Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shakira, if you're new here. And today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Now before I get started, I just wanted to give you a quick disclaimer. I'm neither a doctor nor a licensed cosmetologist, so everything that I learn and share with you here on YouTube, you can do just as easily the research for yourself. That said, this video is for entertainment purposes and anything you see and do is on your own accord. Now that we got that out of the way, I'm going to be taking you through my curly to straight hair care routine and I'm also going to tell you a little bit about a home hair treatment that you can do to keep your hair healthy and nourished and shiny and today I'm going to be using olive oil. Olive oil is a very common household ingredient that you can find in almost everybody's kitchen but I'm sure you guys know that it's also very popular to use in beauty hair and skincare as well for its many properties that can actually improve the condition of your hair and your skin. It's said to treat dandruff, moisturize your hair, and reduce scalp irritation. It's also said to promote hair growth due to its vitamin E content and specifically tocotrienols which are one of two compounds contained in the essential nutrient of vitamin E. Olive oil is also 83% oleic acid, which we talked a little bit about this in our castor oil video, but oleic acid is a monounsaturated fatty acid and it's said to be capable of penetrating the hair shaft. Again, because of the vitamin E and oleic acid, the oil reduces oxidative stress, which is a cause of premature hair loss. If you didn't know, oxidative stress weakens the hold that your scalp has on your hair and it's caused by free radicals that are present in the body. So let me know in the comments if you'd like to learn more about the effects of oxidative stress on our hair, skin, and our bodies. I'd be more than glad to make that video for you guys. So you already saw me getting a head start on applying the oil to my hair. But essentially you want to start in the drier areas first and work upwards towards your scalp and give your scalp some extra time, some extra care, focus on massaging it, flip your head over. Six and a half hours later. Flipping your head over is going to promote blood flow which stimulates the follicles aka growth baby. I swear by this, it's one thing I've kept consistent in my ever changing hair care routine for years. And when you're doing something like this, you do want to make sure you use extra virgin olive oil just because it's better quality. Although if you have a different kind of olive oil on hand or a blend of oils, you could still use it and try observing any changes. Of course, that is at your own accord. And like I said, olive oil is great for your skin as well. Okay, so now I'm going to go through what my actual wash routine is going to look like. First, I'm gonna start off with a purifying shampoo because like I said, I did have an oil treatment in my hair, which was a combination of olive oil and one of my company's proprietary ingredients, which is a blend of 13 natural and botanical oils, specifically targeted to go all the way into your hair's cortex, which is the third innermost layer of your hair and nourish it from the inside out. So I had that and the olive oil working their magic, plus a week of not washing my hair, having gone to the gym, I have used uh, styling products. So I want to make sure that I'm getting a really good clean. So I'm gonna use a purifying shampoo with apple cider vinegar. And then I'm gonna follow up because a purifying shampoo can be a little bit more drying on your hair, especially people with more textured hair types. You want to go in with something that's gonna be both nourishing, hydrating, and moisturizing afterwards. So the shampoo that I use really helps my hair grow and keep that nice environment for healthy hair. After, I shampoo twice. Always have the shampoo twice because the products that I use are really specific. And if you'd like to know more about the products that I use, let me know and I will be more than glad to make a video on those too. So, since the products are a little different, I follow up my shampoo with my hair mask. And this one is a hydrating hair mask. So now that I've got all those oils sitting and working my hair, this one is going to use a hyaluronic acid, which it acts like a magnet for water to attract to your hair. 
So now that I've got those oils, I want to make sure that I have water to hydrate. Because I'm gonna be heat styling my hair after this, I want to make sure that I have hydrated hair for an extended period of time. After I let my hair mask sit for a little bit, then I'm gonna follow up with my conditioner. And this conditioner is specifically made for people that want more dense hair, that want thicker, longer, faster growing hair. So that's me, I fit all of those boxes. <laughs> so yeah, this one is really good and it has a minty feeling. So like it kind of feels like you just washed your wash your hair with toothpaste. I know, the <laughs> that's my wash routine. Now I'm gonna go and do that and then I will be right back to show you what products I'm gonna use to prep my hair for styling. All right, so just hopped out the shower and now I'm gonna take you guys through my styling routine. Normally I would go in with my one minute split end mender first. It uses anionic technology and the charge of your hair to mend split ends together. First, I'm gonna do my unknot detangler and this um, also helps protect from the sun. If I don't use my regular leave-in conditioner, which I'm gonna show you guys a different leave-in, um, I will go in with this because the leave-in also protects from the sun. So if I'm not using that one, I still wanna get sun protection. You see where I'm going with this. So I'm just gonna spray it around the hair and then just use my comb to loosely comb the product through. And you're gonna see me removing all of these hairs that fall out. Guys, hair fallout is very normal and it also varies depending on a lot of different factors like diet, stress, sleep, um, general health of your body. So there's lots of different things that can affect that. So not everybody's fallout is gonna look like the next person. So that's just something to keep in mind. Next, I'm gonna use the spot treatment. I always go in with this along my edges and this is just a twice daily spray. You spray it in the target areas. If you have like thinning hairlines or bald spots forming, it's really good to combat the formation of DHT, which is the hormone that is responsible for hair loss. So um, yeah, it combats the formation of that hormone in those specific areas. And that's something that's really popular in males and can form with male pattern baldness. So lots of guys use this product here. If you would like to get your hands on it, leave me a comment and I will reach out to you. On second thought, I provided you guys with a way that you can contact me in the description of this video. Thank you. I'm going to use this Bond Fortifying Leave-In Cream. And this is the leave-in that I'm using today instead of my normal one. Emulsify and apply it evenly throughout your hair. I don't wanna to apply too much leave-in, just enough so that my hair still gets all that goodness. But I don't wanna to apply too much to weigh my hair down when it's straight. I like my hair to be soft and airy. And finally, the last product that I'm gonna be applying in this series of styling products is my blowout cream. And this one is gonna help cut my blow dry time in half and protects it up to 350 degrees. So I am gonna be letting my hair air dry, but afterwards I'm gonna use the blow dry brush to style it. And that'll also help with smooth frizz, add some shine. And the thing I love is that you really don't need a lot. A little bit goes a long way.
So you see me scrunching my hair here and that's just because I'm gonna be letting my hair air dry. I do have to go to work today so um, I don't have that much time to actually sit down and style my hair. Busy girl life, gotta split things up. So I'm gonna let my hair air dry and hopefully it has some type of nice presentable wave or curl pattern to it. So I'm just not gonna touch it. I'm gonna let it hair air dry how I normally would and then I will be back to show you guys the actual styling process, so. <laughs> Can I be any more awkward? Can I be any more awkward? So fast forward a little bit, my hair is dry as you can see. And before I go in and style it today, I am going to brush through and make sure there are no knots, no tangles, just to make for an easier straightening process. And this is what the curls look like all brushed out. So as you can see, I'm going to be taking a blow dry brush. I'm not gonna be sharing the name because I am not going to be receiving any uh, compensation for promoting this brand or this company. So I'm not about free advertisement, baby. So I'm just gonna take a little bit more of my heat protectant. Again, a little bit goes such a long way. And I'm going to redistribute that all over my hair again, just because I wanna make sure I have as much protection as I can before I go in with heat styling. So this brush has a few different settings. I'm gonna put it on the highest one and I am going to start at the nape of my neck and hold it very taut as or as taut as you can and basically use it like a rolling brush. These blow dry brushes have been so popular over the last few years I want to say and I just recently got my hands on it so I am testing it out. I'm still getting the hang of it but I overall have been pretty happy and satisfied with the results of it and my hair texture is a combination of 2C to 3B curls. I have a bunch of different curls all over my head. And my hair texture is relatively fine. I do have a lot of hair, but the hair strands themselves are not too, too coarse. So I'm just turning around to show you how I pull the hair when I'm blow drying it. Like I said, I'm still getting the hang of it, so I'd be turning my head and neck in ways that are a little bit awkward. But it doesn't hurt, and at the end of the day, all I really care about is that my hair looks straight, so. Again, I'm going to just take another section, and here I'm parting my hair into two sections because when you have smaller sections it's just easier to work with especially if you have a lot of hair. I've written that it's better if you're going to be blow drying your hair that you start with it at least a little bit damp. Not soaking wet, but a little bit damp. And that is going to give you more shine at the end of your blow dry. So again, you saw me start at the base of my head and pull tightly towards the end. I'm just gonna repeat this process on the rest of my head. And I don't want you guys to have to sit through that, so we went ahead and fast forward. You can see that shine that I'm talking about. And for the health of my hair, for more protection in my hair, for added shine, I'm going to go in with my oil, my holy grail oil. Thank you. 
and I'm just gonna finish up on this top section of my hair make sure there are no waves at the base of my head so this is how it turned out at the end of the blow dry you can see very soft very shiny all thanks to the products that I use I can honestly say that before I used to have such heat damage after I would straighten my hair which I would have it straightened for about 50 weeks out of the year 50 out of 52 weeks in the year and my hair was just so damaged because I was not using the right stuff so just for some finishing touches I'm going to take my flat iron and just do a few quick passes over the areas where you can see are a little bit wavier that the blow dry brush just didn't straighten I am trying to avoid heat damage as much as possible and whenever you're using heat tools like inevitably there is going to be some damage so I just have let go of the notion that my hair has to be completely pinned straight because anybody that knows me knows my hair is curly anyway so as long as my hair is just kind of straight at the end of the day I'm the only one that's like nitpicking and making sure that it needs to be super perfect because to everybody else, people don't even really notice, to be honest. So I'm sure there are some parts in my hair that are wavy. Again, like I said, I'm not trying to be perfect here. I've spent way too many years trying to do that and it's just not worth the time because I'm already perfect as is and so are you. And that's just what I want everybody to realize. Just because something looks some way for one person does not mean it's gonna look the same for the next. So to do my bangs, I'm gonna start by rolling the brush outwards from the bottom first, and then I'm gonna go on the top and roll it out away from my face. So this is the finished look. Again, like I said, I'm sure there are some parts that are wavy in there, but as long as on the outside it looks straight, that's all that matters to me. And yes, let's look at that shine, girl. I'm so happy with the results. I appreciate you guys so much for watching my video. If you like this video, be sure to leave a thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe. I appreciate it. I appreciate you. I appreciate life. Y hablamos martes. Deuces.